and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. In today's video, I'm going to be making a cocktail that not only have I never made myself before, but it is also a cocktail that I have never tried before. Today, I am going to be making a revolver. So as I mentioned, I have never tried a revolver cocktail before, so I'm very excited to make it today. When I heard the ingredients that are in this cocktail, I have to say, it sounds like the perfect cocktail for me. It is a mix of all of the things that I absolutely love in a cocktail, so I'm dying to try it. Now, this cocktail was requested by one of my lovely Patreon supporters, Don Nishida. Don, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for requesting this cocktail. So before I get into the history of the Revolver cocktail and I show you how I make it at home, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. It is not only a great way of supporting my channel and also requesting what cocktails you would like to see here, but you can also join in on my monthly live streams with my Patreon community and you can see the content that is just too tipsy for YouTube. So without rambling on too much, let's get into the history and the ingredients for a Revolver cocktail. So the Revolver cocktail is essentially a caffeinated twist on the classic Manhattan cocktail. So the Revolver is essentially a caffeinated twist on the classic Manhattan cocktail. Now I have made a Manhattan here on my channel before. I will link it in the description if you wanna check it out. It is an absolutely beautiful cocktail. It is of course whiskey based and it's been around for quite some time. However, the Revolver is a little bit more of a modern adaptation. The Revolver was created by a San Francisco barber called Joe Santer in the early 2000s. So as far as cocktails go, it is not that old. It's a little bit of a baby. However, it sounds incredibly delicious. So with that being said, let's get into the ingredients for Revolver. <laughs> So as I mentioned, the Revolver is essentially a caffeinated twist on the classic Manhattan, and you are basically swapping your sweet vermouth for coffee liqueur. Now, this sounds very interesting to me because one of my favorite cocktails is an espresso martini. I know it is a modern cocktail. It's not exactly one of the classics, but in the right circumstances, an espresso martini is chef's kiss. I absolutely love a coffee liqueur cocktail and an espresso martini is one of my favorite things to make at home. Now, obviously the Revolver is a bourbon based cocktail and it is said that the original recipe used bullet rye bourbon. Now I have a bottle of it right here. It is a delicious rye, one of my favorites to use. It's gonna give that little spicy kick. I don't think I've ever had a bourbon coffee liqueur cocktail mix. So I'm especially excited for this one. I of course have my stunning Kahlua here this is a gorgeous coffee liqueur. I use this for my espresso martinis all the time. So along with our rye and our coffee liqueur, we are also gonna be using a couple of dashes of our orange bitters. I have some Angostura here, so that is going to be perfect. And we are also going to be using a little bit of orange peel for the garnish. It says that for the Revolver, you can flame the orange peel, which actually sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm gonna do my best to do that today. I am no expert at flaming peels, but we will give it a bash and see how we get on. But enough chatting, let's get into actually making a revolver. All right, so to kick things off, we are going to start with two ounces of our beautiful, oh my goodness, beautiful bourbon. Let's pop in our gorgeous bullet rye. Two ounces is about 60 mils. Let's also get some nice chunky ice cubes in there. In goes our 60 mils of rye. And then on top of our rye, we're also just gonna do half an ounce of coffee liqueur. In she goes. Ooh, look at that color. Now we're gonna go in with two dashes of our orange bitters. There we go. And then now we're just gonna go ahead and stir it. This is a very simple cocktail. So I think I have given that enough of a stir. I'm just gonna go and grab my glass from the freezer so it's nicely chilled. All right, now let's go ahead and strain it in. Oh, the color is so beautiful. Right, now it's time to flame the orange peel, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but we'll be fine. I think to properly flame it, you need to light it and then do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm really not good at this. So I'm gonna try it again. Oh yeah. Okay, so my flaming job wasn't amazing, but I'm just gonna rub it around the rim as well, just to get 
that gorgeous aroma and then I'm gonna dress this up a bit and then I'll twist it and drop it in. Cause I think you're supposed to add the garnish in the end. I think it's just not just for flaming. So let's give that a little twist and pop her in. Beautiful. I have to say that was an extremely quick and easy cocktail to make. So definitely a really easy one to whip up at home. I'm really hoping that I absolutely love this. Coffee liqueur and good rye bourbon are two things that I'm always gonna have in the house. So if you'll join me over on my Dr. Evil chair, I'm dying to try this and see if I actually adore Revolver as much as I think I'm going to. Okay, so I am back in my Dr. Evil chair. My revolver is sitting here waiting to be tasted. I'm a bit worried that I've hyped it up too much and it won't live up to my expectations. So I'm going to go in with an open mind. Let's try this and see how it tastes. It's good. Oh, that is beautiful. good. I really never thought that bourbon and coffee liqueur would go so well together, but it's actually a really nice pairing. And I don't know why, because I'm terrible at describing taste, but the orange works so well with it. Mmm. Oh, even the smell of the cocktail, it's really nice. There's like something a little bit desserty about it, but I feel like the rye just adds that nice like bite. It's Stunning. So it is at this point in the video that I get to sit back, enjoy my cocktail and answer some questions from my Patreon community. So I have a question here from the lovely Jordan Towns and Jordan asks, what are some of the hidden gems to see if you travel to Ireland? Well, Jordan, how much time do you have? Let me take a sip while I think about that. Ireland has so, so many. There are such an abundance of incredible places to see. It's so rich in history and culture. And I know I'm biased, but it is one of the most fun places that you could travel to in terms of the pub culture and how friendly people are. More generally, you have to see the West of Ireland. It is so incredibly beautiful. The West, which is where I'm from, has the most beautiful, beautiful coastline. It's been called the Wild Atlantic Way and it is wild and beautiful. You can do the Wild Atlantic Way tour. You can make it as long or as short as you want, but you can basically travel up or travel down along Ireland's Western coastline. It's so incredible. I actually get goosebumps when I think about it. Well, you tend to forget how beautiful the area that you're from is. Galway is just so incredible. So yes, Jordan, if you're coming to Ireland, you absolutely have to go to Galway and go and see the Wild Atlantic Way because it is so beautiful. Another thank you to my lovely Patreon supporter, Don Nishida, for recommending that I make a revolver. Don, you were absolutely right. This is so stunning. Please continue to let me know in the comments what other cocktails you think I will enjoy or what other cocktails you would like to see me make next. And of course, if you have a specific way that you make the revolver, if you have your own little twist, please let me know in the comments as well. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up as that would help me out a lot. And if you would like to see more easy cocktails that you can make at home, I will leave a playlist up here. And of course, if you have not subscribed already, please, please do. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Cheers.